guys welcome back to the love of asia and today i just finished doing an uh, unboxing but i'm doing another video as you can see i'm still wearing the same thing from my last video but pretty much last video i was doing jackie 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 Jackie's review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. My review, actually, my review on Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with Jackie Ina. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick review on, I wouldn't call this an unboxing. Well, it is an unboxing because it's shipped to my house in a box. But it's not from any of my subscriptions. It's just from one of my favorite um. Um, how do you say my favorite makeup line, which is, of course, can anyone guess it? Guess it? Guess it? Yes, of course. Juvia's Place. Let me start by just saying, I have ordered plenty of makeup, color, pop, Anastasia, Boxy Charm. I get Ipsy. I get BH. I get Beauty Bay. I get a lot of different elf. I get, I get a lot of different type of makeup sent to my house, but no one has been as good with shipping as Juvia's Place. I mean, I order one day and two days later, no more than two days later, it's right at my door. And I don't know if it's because of my location. I am upstate New York and they are located in Jersey. It could be because of that, but I just love it because I know when my products are coming, when they say that it's coming this day, it's never a pushback, it's never an issue. So let me just say thank you so much to Juvia's Place for being consistent and persistent with their shipping and um, their shipping process and how fast they get their products out there. Thank you very much. So I seen, I seen the new products from, um, this is how the box looks on the inside. I wanted to just try out some of their lip, their lip products because I don't have any lip products from Juvia's Place. And that was like the main thing that I wanted to try out this time around. Um, and a few other products that I just was dying to do. So, my first product that I'm going to talk about today that I did order, I'm not going to start with the lips. I'm going to start with the Saharian Blush Volume 2. Okay, and I got this product. I was going to get volume one, but I seen a peek of the colors that they uh, had in that palette. And I just felt like a lot of those shades would not do right with my face tone as far as a blush palette. And I wanted, I only have one other blush palette, which is the Alamar blush palette that I received from Boxy um boxy charm i'm gonna i'm gonna get this open okay. so other than the alamar blush palette that i have received um which is only three shades in there which my favorite shade out of that is um oasis it's a shade called oasis and that is my favorite blush palette i only have like little like cargo and i have like different blush palettes like that otherwise i literally use um eyeshadow sometimes for blush um, for blush but I wanted to get the Sar Saharian blush volume 2 this is how the packaging looks because I felt like these shades were more me okay so let's take a look at that let's take a look at that palette I'm sure you guys already seen this but it's my first time okay so I'm gonna show you guys anyway and um, I just want to say I love Juvia's place palettes I absolutely love them they are pretty much my favorite palettes okay I can I got a lot but Juvia's Place is my favorite palettes but what I do want to say is I wish they had mirrors you know every time I have to use my favorite palettes look at those shades every time I have to use these my you know Juvia's Place palettes I have to go and get a different mirror I have to get my mirror I have to do this and I have to use a different palette you know to you know use these palettes because they don't have no mirror so that is one thing that i would love for them to work on and change or figure out but other than that these are my favorite these are my favorites and i i love these tones here i'm gonna swatch a little bit i can see myself rocking out rocking out this is the b this is color b i'm gonna slay that look I like the Sola, Sola one as well. Let's swatch that. 
Oh, that is pigmented, pigmented. I love that. I love that. And let's try the ta the ta tau 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 tau. That's like an orangey. I like that. I think I'm gonna use that blush too because I look good with the orange blush. I love those pigments. Ooh. And um the yeah yeah yara. I think I would use this more like a to contour. Even though it is a blush, I would. I would rather use that shade as a contour. See, the other uh, palette that they had, the volume one, one, there probably would have been only two shades. I would still use that as like a, a warm blush. I probably would mix that if I wanted to use that as a blush. Because that's more brown. I love this Zoba. I wonder if, I, if that's like good enough to use as like a highlighter, this one here. Because I can see me using that as a highlighter. Let's see how it swatches. Yeah. Those are really pretty shades there. Really, really pretty. So, yes. I wanted to get this palette. I love Juvia's face. I love them. I love them. I love them. Everything about them. I just wish they had mirrors for their palettes. That's the only thing. Other than that, they're perfect. Like, they're perfect. So, I got this blush palette now. And this is going to be a very short unboxing because I didn't get much in this uh, this um, order here. I did go in and I got the Empress Lip Collection by Juvia's. This is uh, Moro. Moro. I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Moro. Let's take that off, plastic off. And this is how that looks. The Empress. The Empress. Empress Collection. Okay. And um, I heard a lot about their lip products this one comes with two it comes with a matte and a metallic lip lipstick liquid lipstick so it's in the color moro so let's try that out <laughs> it doesn't say which one is the the matte oh okay it does this one is the matte let me get these back in and show ya how it came once I took that little box off. So it came with this box. And you take that off. And it does let you know which one is. Dang it. I'm so excited. You can't you tell. It, it lets you know which one is which. This one is the matte. Can you see that? And this one obviously is the metallic. So I'm. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna just go in now. Let's keep in mind that baby girl does not have her face done, eyebrows is not done. So let's just look at the lip here while I'm doing these swatches so you can see what we're working with. And these lip, um, they are dark, they are brown girl friendly. That's what I like about these. They're brown girl friendly. And I seen this color and I was like, I'm, I want to try these this color. Okay, let's go, let's go to work. This is the matte. I like it. I like that. Mm. <laughs> and I'm not really a dark girl when it comes to the lips. Mm -mm. So... That's how that matte look. I'm going to darken that in. Because I think I could take that all the way. Yes, honey. Baby girl got full lips. Mm, I like this color. I'm going to slay with this color. I love that. Hmm. So that's the matte. It's... It feels great. It feels like air. It don't feel like I put on lipstick. It don't feel glossy. It feel. It doesn't feel dry. It actually feels just like my lips. It feels like it dried pretty quick too. That color is so pretty. I 
I love that. And I'm not sure if we're supposed to go in with that metallic on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that metallic on top. And then I'm going to take it off. And then I'm going to show you the metallic just by itself. So here's the metallic. And it says it at the bottom that it's metallic, okay? That purple is beautiful. And this is the metallic. This is how the brushes look. Beautiful. I'm going to assume that you're supposed to go in with the metallic on top because they're two together. Oh. I'm happy that I tried this because now I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to go back online and find what other colors I like. Ooh, girl, that is to die for, baby. Mm, I can't wait to do my face. So you guys can take a look. That purple is beautiful. Moro. Moro. Mmm, baby girl. Where you say you was going? Purple rain. Pur oh, I'm fabulous. When I do my face, honey, hmm. That's going to be so cute. I really like this color. Yes. Three thumbs up. Three thumbs up for this. That Moro. I like that. It gives me the confidence to go and see if I can try that dark black color that they got. Because they have this like dark color. Mmm. You don't feel sticky. It's not dried out. It just feels like lip. It feels like lip. It feels like my lip. I love this one. Love this one, darling, darling. This one is one. Okay? I like. I like. Now, I'm going to get this off. And we're going to go in with another lip that I got from them. A lip gloss this time. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't know if I was supposed to read the box or not. Let's see. Because I just had to go through a whole lip scrub. Makeup removal to get that lip off, which is a good thing. Hmm. It don't say. No say. No say. That joint did not want to come off these lips. So I'm going to take that like this is some long lasting product, which is amazing because that means I'm going to be <laughs> slaying all day. I literally had to do a lip scrub. Do my little fourth rate oil on my lips and get that off. Hmm. I like that though. I like that because that means I'm going to be lit all day. So with that being said, I'm just going to go into the next product. I was going to try the metallic out solo, but I don't want to have to go through that again. All right. Not right now. Not right now. So the next uh, lip care I'm going to go in is the Queen Collection. And um, this is from, this was a collab with Queen Fumi, okay? I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm, I'm just learning about Queen Fumi, okay? So, she's a, another one like a YouTube, uh, Instagram makeup beauty icon. And she had the opportunity to collab with Juvia's Place to create her own collection. And I have seen the palette. I don't I'm thinking and marinating on if I want the palette or not. The, she has an eyeshadow palette and um, a few different products. And one of those products is this lip gloss here. Okay. And this is in the color Fumi. That's how it comes. And I've seen this color. And I've seen a few different people. Mercy. Mercy. Uh, Muga, Mu Manga, Mercy Manga. Um, I've seen uh, Monica St Styles. I've seen her use that. I've seen a few different YouTubers use this that I like. Beauty icons, rather. I don't like to call them YouTubers because they're inspirational people, you know. And um, I learn a lot from them. So I'm going to say beauty icons. And um, I just started... Uh, 
looking into the queen herself, the queen. <laughs> And um, yeah, she's nice too. She has a she she's nice with her colors and how she puts things together. I'm gonna get this open. Yeah. So when I seen a lot of people test out this uh, lip gloss, I was just like, I just gotta have it. And I'm not sure if they have this in matte. I'm gonna go back on if I like the color. I will go back on and get that matte. But this one is a gloss. So let's try this baby out. And it's the same little stick from the last one. I'm going to take that as long lasting too. If it's not, then I will go back and try out that metallic by itself. Okay. It smells like grape. The other one didn't have a, a smell to it. I like. And with this one, you're supposed to like slap that color on me. Keep in mind, my face is not slayed. Okay. I did not put on any makeup or anything. This is literally just a review. And I'm sure when I love the way this smells. I'm going to build it up. This smells so good. I like this color too. Mm. Oh, I love that smell. Mm. So let's check this color out. Yes. I like them. It feels very hydrating. Mm. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I wish my man was up. I can get his review on that. He probably wouldn't like it, but I like this. It smells so fruity. It feels good and it's buildable. Mm. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Cause I know once I slay this face, it's gonna be the die for. The queen got me feeling like I got the crown on already. Mm. I kind of like want to lick my lips. <laughs> See if it got a flavor to it. It don't. <laughs> I like this color here. I am so satisfied with this color. I'm going back on Juvia's, please. I want to give me some more stuff. Okay, go up in. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Like, it's like a, it's a purple. It's a dark, dark purple. Mm -hmm. I really like this color. I'm so satisfied with this. It makes me want to go and check out her line. Like, the only thing that I really was like, I gotta have that when I seen the Queen collection with Juvia's Place, it was this. And now with the way that this smells, the way that it feels on my lips, I feel like I gotta go back and check the Queen out one more time because she did that. She did that. And this is, these products are every shade... You understand? Every skin tone can work these products, which is what I love about Juvia's Place is because we're not in a box with them. You know what I mean? You can get everything to match you. Doesn't matter what tone, doesn't matter who you are. You can get Juvia's Place and they will match you. Palettes, shadows, highlighters. They got you, girl. They got your back. I almost don't want to take this off, baby girl. I really like this color. 
it makes me want to go right in and do my face. You know, like, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? I ain't got nowhere to go. But I could go and do some makeup real quick. What am I waiting for? Hmm? Hmm? This is fly. I can't wait to do a look with this. Yes, 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 yes. I'm fabulous. Hmm. I like this color, y'all. I like this. So the next thing we're going to review that I got from them because I got a foundation from them before. I'm going to go and review this I Am Magic foundation that they sent me. I do have a foundation from them already. It is Zari, Zari, Zaria 320, I believe it is. 320 yes Zaria 320 and if you've seen my last video that one is orange matter of fact I'm gonna get that look at that lid oh my god it's so gorgeous gorge darling gorge okay so the first um foundation I got from Juvia's Place I did their toner test and they picked this tone for me, which is Zaria, Zaria 320. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. But it's Zaria 320. Ain't got time for that. So this one, I went in and chose what I think is my color because this one here is a little orange for me. I always have to blend it with another foundation and I don't want to have to do that when I'm trying to give credit to Juvia's Place. I want my tone. If I'm going to give them credit for their foundation, for their I Am Magic foundation, I want my tone. So let us let me show you the difference. Okay, I haven't tested this, this one out yet. So we're going to do that together. We're going to do that together. And I think I picked the right tone, okay? And I'm not doing my whole face. Boo-boo. And we're going to go in with my new silicones. I just got these little silicone sponges. I always wanted to try these out. So I feel like this will be the perfect time for me to test these out for you guys on my channel. Um, Let's do the one that they set was my color okay the zaria 320 see i used it a couple of times all right and we're gonna test that out on my face let's do it on my face and i ain't got no primer none of that one i'm just showing you the colors okay this one is a tone like that now i don't know if y'all got two eyes or four like moi i like how that sponge did that mm-hmm Let's blend that so y'all can see. I'm going to do a video on my review on these sponges. Now y'all see how that is. That thing ain't right. That thing ain't right. Okay, go ahead. It ain't. It's just not right. It's just not right. So on the other side, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the color that I picked, and let's keep our fingers crossed and pray to God that I picked the right tone because I think I know what color I am. See online, they can't. I can't send them a picture. I can't send them a, like a skin shot and be like, "Girl, this is my color." They ask you a series of questions and they feel like they can match you to your tone. I'm going to go on the opposite side of that spongy. I like these silicones. I'm going to do a video on these. I got a couple more. And this one is the color that I chose for myself. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, Father. Touch down on this sponge. Mm. Let's blend that. Let's see. Oh. No, guys, I don't know. I don't know, guys, I don't know. Now, this color here is Tarzania, Tarzan, Tarzania 205. I think it's both a disaster. Okay. Let me see. Let me see this sponge. This is the color they chose for me. 
This is the color that I chose for myself. Both a disaster. Both a disaster. This one looks like a color scraped off a tree. But it's definitely closer to my tone than that other color. Oh my God, look crazy. Let me see if this is blendable and I would have been able to slay that. I'm going to keep going to work with that. And let's just see. Because it's definitely not my color. And I don't know if it's like the amount that I'm putting on. I'm not sure. <sighs> Guys, if you got the eye magic foundation from Juvia's Place and you are around my skin tone, please comment. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm going to be buying a million I am magic from them to find my color. Because it's obvious they can't find my color and it's obvious I can't find my own color. Maybe if I mix these two colors, it wouldn't be so bad. See, that's not terrible, you know. I think I did okay. <laughs> I'm like, I think I, I'm, I'm just trying to make it work with them. <laughs> As far as this I Am Magic Foundation, because I love the formula. You know what I mean? The formula is something to talk about. But finding your tone is kind of hard there, darling. Look at that. This is just not... It's just not right. Let me see what I can do on this side. This is just too late. You know what? Look at this. A mess. Like, I'm a mess. This is why I do these reviews because I want you guys to see what I be going through. Now, I don't know if I was to mix. You see that? Mm. Tarzana wasn't too bad, though. Look at that. Let's just take a cut look on this side and let's keep in mind i'm directly under the light so it's shining it's shining on us but it's still not horrible it's not completely my color but i can't say that i'm not going to use it okay because i will use a little bit less probably a little bit less but I can't necessarily say this is definitely I can't say what I would say about this one like over here I just feel like nah brah let me come back a little bit let's get in the black okay Tarzan is not that off it's not that bad it's not horrible it's not horrible I probably would have to do my whole neck I guess that makes it not I guess that makes it not good even because I gotta do I gotta do my ears, my neck, my shoulders, all of that. <laughs> Love that gloss. But it's not horrible. A little less will probably go better. A little less will go a long way. I don't think I would have to mix Tarzana though. You know what I mean? Like with Zaria, I would definitely have to mix that with a dark tone. There's no passing with just tar with Zaria. But with Tarzana, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. You see? You see my color here. You see there. But if I was to contour that, powder that, you know, do the whole formation. It will, you, you you see what I mean? It's not completely horrible. Not bad. I think I definitely got closer to my color than they did. My color, their color. You know, my matchup, their matchup. Me. Yeah.
Um, <laughs> okay, let me stop. So, yeah, that's that. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think I would be able to rock out with that Tarzana? Do y'all think I should mix the two? Zaria 320 with Tarzana. What's that? 205? 205. I think the Tarzana is not that bad. I got to go look in my mirror, mirror. So get back to y'all. Check out my Instagram. Okay. I'm going to do a look on this. Because I got some more unboxing coming. And I want to really use that Jackie Anna palette to create a look as well. So I'm going to get back to y'all on that. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a look with just this foundation. A little bit lighter. And I'm going to post it. I'm going to do a get ready with me or something. Okay. And I'm going to see. Y'all comment. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking. Because I don't think baby girl is horrible. You know what I mean? Let me get underneath that lay. Oh, I'm tripping. I don't think baby girl is horrible. You know what I mean? She's not horrible. She definitely not horrible. This over here, on the other hand, you know what? These two together probably would be like a bomb, bomb diggity for me. If I do both of them together. All right, that's that. Because if not, I'm going to sit here for an hour talking about this foundation. But let's get back to this lip. This lip is born. Mm. I like that. I like that. All right, let's see. Let me put my full eyes back on and see if I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it a little bit. I'm feeling it. I think once you blend out, I think with these foundations from Juvia's Place, you can't go off of when you smack it on the face. Because even with the Zaria, when I go and blend that in, I have walked out the door with Zaria on before. But I, I blended her with my e.l.f. foundation, which is a darker tone. So I used to do dot, 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 dot. And then blend her out with my e.l.f. You know, blend her out with another foundation. I'm going to do a review on these silicone ones here. So, I have walked out the door with her before. And I think Zaria is not bad at all. I mean, Tarzana is not bad. I'm going to do a look on her. I'm going to get back to y'all. I'm going to let y'all know if I'm going to stick to the foundations that I use. Outside of the Juvia's. Or if I'm going to play around with Tarzana. The way I'm feeling right now, I feel like I will play around with Tarzana. I'm going to do a get ready with me. Y'all comment. Y'all let me know if I'm looking green or if I'm looking orange. Once that get ready is done. Comment down below right now too. Let me know what y'all thinking about these lips and these pa and this palette. You, you, you know what I mean? Let me know what y'all thinking. Okay, guys? I'm going to meditate on I'm gonna meditate on it. And I'll let y'all know what I'm thinking as well. Right now, I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Tarzana. I'm giving these lips a ten, straight off the gate. These lips products is a ten. I'm going back and I'm shopping for more. Definitely, I want every lip. I'm not really a nude girl anyway. I like reds. I like pinks. Um, I'm like a red, pink, purple, and a lip gloss girl. So when I heard metallic, I was like, mm, I don't, don't going to be for me. But when I seen my girls that I like to watch, you know, my uh, beauty icons, I was like, I've got to test this out because they're not far from my skin, you know. They're not that far from my skin, so I needed to test it out to see how I was feeling. You see, Tarzana don't look that bad. Um, the blush palette, I absolutely had to get. There was no question about that blush. I needed to get that blush palette. Absolutely. Because I, I don't have enough blush palettes, okay? So, the the lips, I, I give all of them a 10. They're all bomb diggity. The palette as well, I give that a 9. I'm just going to subtract the point because it needs a mirror, like I said. As far as the foundation go, I love the, the um, I love the formula. I'm going to give 
that a, a six and a half. I'll get back with the rating on that if I change my mind in another video. Because, like I said, when you have on when you have your face done and your makeup done, your eyebrows slayed and all of that, it looks different. When my neck up neck and stuff, when you contour, when you highlight, when you blush up. It looks different. The bl you wouldn't even think that I, I just put a tree color on my face. You know what I mean? Uh, compared to have an orange. Because I did say I did go out with Zaria before. I did go out with Zaria before. And I definitely feel like I can work with Tarzana. So, yeah. That's it for this, this video right here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment. Let me know what you're thinking about all these shades. You know, let me know if you want to see a video on these silicone blendies, okay, girlfriend? Because these are good. They're easy to wash. Because blend brush, blendy brushes is hard to clean, you know what I mean? So I wanted to test out these silicone ones, and I think they're bomb. I'm going to do a video on it. Let me know what you're thinking about the Queen um, collection. If you think I should go and buy some more products and test them out on there. Look up Juvia's Place if you haven't already because they bomb. Okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. And um, that's it for this video. Have a blessed day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And please make sure to come again.